Hi everyone, this is Tracy. I just have a few cards I'd like to share. Um, this first card is um, um, watercolor um, based. I took um, some Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper and I just um, did some watercoloring with some Stampin' Up! Um, colors of inks. And then I actually I embossed um, this these birds first. This is a Penny Black um, stamp set. Um, so I embossed the birds first and then um, I did the resist watercolor technique on top. And then I cut the layer out with um, Spellbinders um, labels and I also um, matted it, um, actually popped it up on another, the same Spellbinders labels die, just um, a little bit bigger. And I took the Stampin' Up! Um, Tulips um, frame die um, embossing folder. And this is on the, um, this card base is actually Simon Says Stamps um, 120 pound card base. I really like using that now. And then I just tied an organza um, white ribbon and put an I Am Roses um, flower in the center. And the inside is blank. Um, I haven't decided what I could um, be going to use it for yet. And the next card is a birthday card. And I just, um, pretty simple um, and um, clean. I just um, basically um, cut some banners out of a punch that I have, a Stampin' Up! Um, banner punch. And I just used some My Mind's Eye paper. And then I just took some twine and ran it through. Um, cut the holes and then just ran it through the banner. And this card base is uh, Bahama um, Bahama Breeze, I think, from Stampin' Up! for the card base. And then the layer is the Simon Says Stamps, 120 pound. And then this is the uh, Midnight Muse from Stampin' Up! And then I also embossed the word Celebrate from um, Stampin' Up! stamp set and I used the Midnight Muse to um, emboss that also and then I just added a couple sequins. Pretty simple and plain. Um, the inside is blank so I can write my message. This next card is um, inspired by Christina Warner. Um, I took her, um, cased her card um, but I just used um, what I had um, to do the um, layout. So I used um, another Simon Says Stamp 120 pound card base. Um, this banner is actually um, the same um, card stock. And then I just took my inks and I used the new um, work of art um, stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I used one of the stamps and then I just stamped the variations of the colors in a diagonal line. And then I used my banner's framelit dies to cut this out. I used a circle's nestability to cut the circle out in the middle, and I put some eyelets on the ends and tied some twine, and then I used this image from Tiddly Inks, and I colored him in with my Copic markers, little Batman, and the back is um, some soft sky, and I embossed it with the polka dots embossing folder from P Cuddlebug, and then I ran some... Brilliant uh, Moonlight ink on the top of it to bring it out a little bit more. And um, then I put a little bit of glossy accents on his little banner, his little suit. And then this is all popped up. And then on the inside, I stamped Happy Birthday with the Midnight Muse. And then these next cards are inspired by um, Catherine Pooler. And um, I used, this is the 120 pound weight card base, a layer of basic black, another layer of the white, and then I did some more wat um, white embossing with another penny black stamp set and um, some watercoloring on top. And then I just stamped these words and cut them out. Um, I actually embossed them with white embossing powder and black cardstock and then just um, trimmed them out. Added a few little sequins with a couple of rhinestones in the middle. And that one's done. And then this, these next two 
also inspired by Kathleen Pooler. Um, I loved how she took the diagonal, cut the, di the mono diagonal and um, raised them up, and then you'd stamp on the inside um, whatever you'd like. Um, so I did take the um, work of art stamp set again, and I embossed um, these hearts and um, the yellow. And I like how when I stamped on top of each other and we went to go in a boss, it turned, um, it made a third color, which was green, which was a uh, surprise. So I really liked that. And then I just um, stamped and embossed the sentiment also and added some sequins to this. And um, this, oh, this card base is also the Simon Says Stamp 120 pound weight. And then another similar one, just um, using different stamp sets. And um, yeah, and I added some green sequins this time and some clear. And then I did a little bit of Wink of Stellar in the centers of the flowers. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just stamped the sentiment and embossed it in black. And then I just drew some um, pen lines on the edges. So that's my card share, and I hope you enjoyed them, and I thank you for watching.